Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time! I brought us back to the title screen because in case you haven't noticed, Big Mario and Baby Luigi are also on the title screen now. I imagine when you get them in Bowser's Castle it's when it would unlock, I'm not entirely sure, but... Yeah, we have babies now, yay! Anyway, in the last episode we completed Bowser's Castle, we found some crazy sparkling shard thing, and now we have to go talk to Professor Egad, Mr. Elvin Gad up there, in order to figure out what the heck it is. Him and his awkwardly watermelon-shaped head, because apparently if you have a watermelon-shaped head, you're a genius and know everything. But anyway, um... Yeah, and we're also bringing the babies in the future. Once again, time paradox, we're bringing babies in the future. We brought young Toadsworth in the future. And yet they don't remember any of it. I don't know. Kind of weird. I almost think they do the time paradox stuff on purpose, but, you know, whatever. I am plumbest down- yes, I am plumbest down to two as well. Anyway, so yeah. Ah, <sighs> Stuffwell's words are so funny and gargantuan. It's the princess, man! Well, excuse me, prince- uh, well, that doesn't fit there at all. I like saying that anyway, though. Anyway, the babies are checking out the creepy alien thing, which is now in a tube. And... Yeah, okay, so... What is this shard thing, Egad? Tell me it is floating above our head. Yowzer! Okay, so yeah, it is a cobalt star, sh star shard. I guess that makes sense, um... It's kind of your typical, in every Mario RPG, there's always like some sort of star thing to collect. So here we go, we're collecting cobalt star shards, the bean star... There's the seven stars in Mario RPG, there's the seven star spirits in Paper Mario, blah blah blah. But it does react to the uh, aliens, so apparently there is some sort of link between this cobalt star and the aliens. How does a cobalt star po power a time machine? Why can't normal power stars do that? Why can't grand stars do that? Why are there so many freaking stars in Mario games? I don't know, but this star shard just floats up to the top screen and teleports over there and makes a hole. So we have a new time hole, so we're going to go back in time again, and we're going to do more stuff. How predictable, I don't know, I, I kind of do wish they did more in the present here, because it just kind of acts like a, t a like a hub, I suppose, like, you know, Peach's Castle in Super Mario 64, where you just go to it, and then you go to another world from it, and, I don't know, there could have been a lot more sort of time travel, like, you know, look at Oracle of Ages, I already LP'd that game. Um, like, there's lots of time interaction stuff, like you do stuff in the past that affects the present, and so on and so forth, but here, the past and the present just seem like completely separate entities. There's no, like, sort of time travel thing at all. But hey, we got badges. That's right, we have badges finally, which means we can start actually customizing our characters and equipping those stuff. Now, badges, unlike the previous game, do not affect your stats, but they will get grant some sort of effect anyway, so they're not maybe as useful as they were back then, but, uh... They are still pretty cool. The salvage badge will give you a slight chance of using of any item you use with that character could. Uh, it, it's like that. Uh, what it was? I forgot. Like, oh, it's like getting a freebie in Super Mario RPG. You, you have a chance of getting it back at the end of the battle, though, which is really helpful. I put on Luigi because he's the more. Uh, it works for bro items, so uh, Luigi is the least is the less powerful of the two big bros, and he is the most likely one I'll be using bro items with. So. Uh, I do want him to be able to salvage those as much as possible, also because he's a tank, and thus he'll be doing a lot of the healing items too. So I want, you know, I want to salvage, ha ha ha, salvage badge, as much as possible. But hey, now that we have badges, the mushroom shop is actually open now. So we're going to go over here and check it out. Well, no we aren't actually. Because first, now that we have all four of our bros, we can actually access the t uh, upper floors, even though we have no reason to go up here yet. But there is money up here and other stuff, so it actually is worth going here before you go to the shop. Maximize your funds, because believe me, you can actually get quite a lot of coins up here. And then, uh, once you do that, you can... Uh, well, what's in here? Uh, you can get more stuff in the shop. And, you know, this is like the stage of the game where you're kind of low on coins, but after the next area, you won't be so pressed for coins, so may as well do it now. As much as I hate to waste the video wandering around Peach's Castle, unfortunately, this is kind of the best time to do it. Anyway, we actually got two new bros items there a little bit, in case you didn't notice. Uh, there were the bro flowers and the cannon ballers. What a baller. Um... Those items are actually both pretty good, I like both of them a lot, uh, and they also will be available in the item shop as well to buy now, so like the, the, you get like new items usually before each new area, I guess. Uh, I will be showing those off in battle soon enough, I'm not sure if it's this episode or not, um, I, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see if, if I get around to it this episode. Uh, over here is a giant staircase, uh, where, but you have to hit this block and race up it yet, but we have no way of going fast enough to get there yet, so kind of a waste of time, except there's a one-up mushroom right here if you hit the Luigi block. So, still worth going in there, but uh, we won't be seeing that for quite a bit. One of those usual restriction things. Even though there's not even anything up there yet, there's no time hole or anything, so there's no reason to go up there yet, but oh well. 
Uh, if you go over here, there's actually a third floor as well, though, so... We shall be heading up there, because there are even more items up there, and more items are more fun. I have 314 coins right now, that's actually kind of beautiful, that's like pie. Pie, it's close to pie. Pie times 100, I don't know. I'm weird! But anyway, in that one there's wild treasures, which is another reason to go up here, because... Uh, equipment in this game is not is focused mostly on stats uh, in this game. Oh, these little X's, uh, we will, yeah, as I mentioned before, we'll be dealing with those later. Um, but uh, that will that will be one less, I guess, clothes we need to buy. Although technically, you know, I'm thinking the other clothes that you can buy soon are better because the wild trousers uh, give you more attack power and not as much defense. In fact, uh, the regular clothes that you start with actually have better defense than these ones do. But if you want to actually have, I mean, it's an extra 5 power, that actually is pretty significant. You can do quite a bit of damage. Uh, anyway, I should be explaining this block right here. Anyway, so if you uh, jump up and you also have to uh, jump off Mario's back with uh, by pressing X in midair, you can access this block and you'll have to press the button uh, uh, where the light goes, so, you know, which character it goes. And basically, the more you can do it in succession without screwing up, if you delay too long, it'll go away like you just saw. Uh, you can get a lot of coins. It's actually 10 coins per hit, so I got 25 there, so that's 250 extra coins, as you see on my coin count. Uh, that's pretty significant, actually. That's, I mean, that's a lot of coins. Uh, and you'll see those occasionally. Those are definitely one of the better ways to get coins. There's also a, t a minuscule bit of coins here. It's just, what, 31 coins? I mean, it's still not bad. We still are at 585 now, or 95. And we have one, one less shirt to buy, or, well, pants, I guess. Technically, you wear pants. Ideally, we change our pants, we don't change our shirt. Kind of weird. I accidentally jumped on the Switch like an idiot. I don't know why. Like, what the heck, dude? Oh, oh I know why now. Uh, I want to go explore the light. Well, there's one little area here, but there's nothing we can do here yet because we can't reach any of these blocks yet. Well, maybe we could, but... Uh, I don't know if we can. Um, uh, yeah, the Toads have some of the weirdest conversations. The f Fueled... F I don't even know what he said. The Fueled Fungi Fighter? I don't know. I want to read that book. I want to read a book about a fighting Toad. That's right. Where are all the Toad adventures? Where are all the Toad novels? I want to go kick ass as a Toad. Not really, but that'd be kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, now that we've gotten uh, a lot of riches and some clothes, we're going to go and buy the rest of our equipment. Uh, so first, we're going to go to the Toad on the right, I believe, here. And we're going to get some bad... He's the, he's, this is the uh, badge and clothes Toad, so... Uh, well, first I'm going to go ahead and equip the one I got. So, uh, Wild Trousers, yeah, as you can see, 5 extra power, but 10 less defense. And we're going to be able to buy clothes in a second that will give us even more defense. So, you know, probably not worth a drop, but I decided to equip it just to save coins. I don't know if I regret that or not, because it makes Mario's defense really bad. Only use it for this area, if anything, because, I mean, as you can see, it's a 20 defense drop for only 5 power. Probably not worth it. It's only really worth it for the coins sa to save coins at this point. Um, which even then, I don't know. Because I'm, I'm going to have enough coins anyway, pretty much. So, well, it's going to be kind of close, I guess, but... Uh, there's also badges, let's see, uh, so... Training badge and easy badge I don't do, because they just, uh, make bros access things easier, and... I don't care for that, uh... Savage badge already have pet badge is useful because it, uh, makes people- it makes you impervious to status effects, uh, which include poison and stun and stuff like that. Uh, might be worth it. Now, I'm only gonna buy one wallet badge, uh, and I'm gonna put it on Baby Mario. The wallet badge is important because that makes you, uh... Oh, by the way, you can sell for- you can sell stuff, so I'm gonna sell the- My old pants and my old... Well, my old, I guess it's slacks and pants. I don't know, there's like different. Uh, as you can see, Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, and then Mario and Luigi have. Uh, they can, like, the adults and the babies can each equip their own set of pants. Uh, but they are, they can't, like, you know, you can't have the adults wearing baby pants and the babies wearing adult pants. There's like two separate categories. Y y I think you understand it. Anyway, I'm gonna buy one more cannonballer and a few more bros flowers just to make sure I have. Well, actually, no, I'm not gonna buy. For, uh, you can find a lot of bros flowers in the Vim Fact. In, in the uh, next area we're going to, which is. The Toadwood Forest, I believe, is going to be called, which we're going to head there right now, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Um, but cannonballers are not as common, and I'm going to just get those, like, so show them off just in case I need to. Uh, I'm going to jump around from the bed. All right. What? Luigi was definitely on there. I call shenanigans from there. That was weird. Anyway, what was I? What? Villain? Who's a villain? You're I'm not villain. Toadsworth! And Toadsworth! Oh my god, it's Toadsworth times two. That's right, there's lots of awesome Toadsworth interactions. Anyway, old Toadsworth thinks Peach has been regressed to a baby, and young Toadsworth thinks old to Toadsworth is a criminal. Ha ha ha! Classic humor. Uh, and yeah, the two of them are apparently having issues getting along. Villain! I have, I'm not sure, young Toadsworth is there. There are plenty of Toads in this castle, I don't know what you've, I don't know 
where you've been, but there are toads all over that castle toads where if you're kind of blind. You should probably get your eyes checked out. Well, then again, the older one apparently has better vision than you do. Odd. Anyway, yeah, Toadwood Forest. I was mentioning something about... Oh, Wallet Badge. Um, so yeah, I equipped that to Baby Mario, but not to Baby Luigi. I didn't give anything to Baby Luigi for a reason, which will probably be seen next video. Um, but the Wallet Badge, what it does, it makes you uh, lose very, very, very less coins from running away. I'm going to do that from the babies, because the babies are weaker... And some fights you're going to want to definitely run away and not bother fighting with. Uh, and, by the way, new picture up there. That's right. This I like the forest. This is actually pretty cool. The music in this game is really great. But yeah, wallet badge, I recommend that for the babies. It's actually a good badge to keep on the babies in general, just to be able to run away. Uh, but I kept one off Baby Luigi for a reason. Now anyway, yeah, see, you get six bro flowers immediately. There's really no reason to buy any there. So I already have seven. That's more than enough. We're going to be finding a ton of bro flowers in this uh, forest. So... And generally, you don't need to buy bro items. Anyway, you can throw babies into the stump, and uh, in almost every stump, you're going to be finding uh, blocks that shoot out 100 coins, and then you have to uh, activate the big bros before the coins disappear. And as you can see like this, you catch them, and you get 100 coins. So easy way to make a lot of money, because there's 100, there's several of these 100 coin things in each block. I mean, we're already up to 340 again, so after this area, money not going to be really that much of a worry. However... You gotta be careful, because as you can see there, there are enemies sometimes in these stumps, and you don't want to fight enemies as a baby, so be very careful when you're jumping into stumps. Or any sort of... There's plenty of uh, variants of this little, like, you know, throw babies into something, and there's bad guys in there. So, be careful. Uh, are... Oh, uh, Yawa? What? What are you saying, miss? Uh, what is going on here? There's a weird sort of text thing over my screen there. Oh! That looks like a toad. Hello, Toad. You're tied to a tree. That's kind of awkward. Oh my god, isn't that that one Toad? Yeah, that is that one Toad. This is one of those Toads that was in the time machine of Princess Peach. This is actually called Toadico, or Toadeco, or I don't know, however you want to call her. Who cares? Minor characters. And she's actually going to give us some background as to what to happen to Princess Peach. So finally, more background. And she's tied to a tree. Yep, that's right. They're to basically, the whole plot of this area is... All the kidnapped toads are being tied to trees and having their mushroom energy sucked out of them by the aliens, which is weird. How do tr alien trees suck mushrooms out? Who knows? But yeah, Princess Peach walks right into the, million the middle of an alien invasion, which sucks to be her. It's so easy to kidnap her that she, pre her she practically kidnaps herself. And that's right, the true princess goes and attacks her and takes her over. <laughs> Luigi and the two babies have been hiding from the toad this entire time. You're freaking scared of a toad. You're scared of a girl toad, Luigi. What the heck? Like, the babies I can understand because they're freaking babies, but Luigi, come on. I love the little shrew picture on top there. So yeah, they suck out all the mushroom energy to power their UFOs because apparently aliens from another planet live off of toad fuel. How did they get their aliens... How would they get their uh, UFOs powered before? Who knows, but... That's actually kind of graphic. They literally suck the life energy out of toads to power... The, I mean, like I said last episode... Or, a couple episodes ago. These aliens are freaking cruel, man. Like, they are actually, like, evil villains that actually do evil things to people in a Mario game. That's a first. But anyway, aliens are attacking, I don't know. They turned her into a shrewd mushroom. Toadiko, no, you are such a minor character. Why? And yeah, so we apparently have to gather the shards according to her. Unfortunately, we didn't get the full story of what happened to Princess Peach. But we know she was indeed captured by the aliens, unfortunately. Ugh, Todiko, why? But yeah. So a little bit of backstory there, but unfortunately the troops interrupt her story, and we are left with gaps. What happened to Princess Peach? Oh no, who knows? Craziness. We shall have to go explore the Toadwood first, for us to find out. Also with the rescue of the Toads. So we have to go destroy a factory, rescue Toads, stop the UFOs from getting powered up. As you can see, there's lots of Toads tied to the trees. You can actually talk to some of them. They never have anything interesting to say because other, other things like, I'm dying! Oh no! Anyway, new enemies. These are Koopy Leons. They're kind of chameleon like enemies. And also, new item we're going to use Bro Flowers. So you tap, uh, you, it's either A, B, or X, or Y, depending on if you're ba adults or babies. But yeah, go to whoever has the big fireball and you button mash that button. So A, A, B, 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 and so on and so forth. Now, the nice thing about the Bro Flowers is they can actually cause a nice status ailment. Uh, known as Burn. As you can see, that guy, the guy who was Burn can't attack. He'll also take damage occasionally as well, which is really useful. And Bro's Flower is also nice because they attack all the enemies as well, which is very handy. Uh, so yeah, it, it can prevent some enemies from taking a turn, which is always good. And it can also 
uh, do damage, extra damage to them. And, you know, Brawl Flowers just in general attack all enemies, like I said, so when you have a lot of enemies, like, you know, three or four on screen, do that. Although, you'll do more at damage when you have uh, multiple enemies, or when you have only one enemy, because all the fireballs will hit them. If you have, like, six or seven enemies, the damage will be very spread out, and you won't be actually doing that much damage at all. Uh, but anyway, those en in, in case you haven't noticed, those enemies, uh, they turn invisible and then they attack, but you can pretty much see who they're going to attack and kind of get a sense of when their timing is, so... Those Koopalands are not that much of a threat, they're pretty easy enemies. Uh, but we have another enemy here, which are the Ghost Shy guys. These guys aren't as easy. Uh, they will signify which bro they'll go towards, and then they'll... But the timing is a little weird, because they, do, they don't really give that much warning before they rush at you. Uh, but they will point, obviously, to the bro they're actually going to go for, so don't be fooled by his illusion. It is false. Anyway, I uh, avoid taking, I avoid using a bro item with Mario because uh, I'm going to use this one for Luigi because in case the salvage badge activates, I want it to work. So here we go, Cannonballers. It only attacks one enemy but does it for a lot of damage. Uh, you'll see all four bros go on the top screen like that, and then you have to press them in the order that they're going to land in. So Y, A, X, B. And I missed the X button for some reason. I don't know what happened there. I think I just mistimed it. Oh well, it happens. Even that, it still kills in one hit. It'll do about 56 damage or so, usually. That seems to be about the amount I usually get for a perfect one, which... That's not actually that bad against bosses and stuff like that, especially. Um, against normal enemies, you're usually just better going for bro flowers or green shells, because you get a lot more of those anyway. But Cannonballer is definitely a great one to use for bosses, although, in general, the green shells, although harder to use, will be able to do that. And as, as you can see up there, the yellow text means that we actually uh, got a... Uh, a cannonballer back from the salvage badge, so yay, salvage badge! But that pretty much wraps up this episode, guys. Uh, this is Lucky7DX signing out. I'm gonna get some uh, one extra power because I suck. Uh, let's go attack the Vim Factory!